Hey, what's up everyone? So, I've recently been playing Watch Dogs 2, and I've realized it has some awesome parkour moves in that game. I've decided I want to take it to this channel to try and recreate some of the parkour moves outside from that game. And to do that, I even created a gaming video of myself playing the game, trying to find the best parkour moves in the game. So you may or may not know this, but I've actually had a gaming channel for a long time, but I don't promote it, I hardly ever post videos to it, but I figure for the occasion I do something like this, I can make a video for it. So if you want to check out that video, you can check out the link in the description. So this video is actually part of a new series I'm doing called Ronnie's Stunt Simulator. <laughs> it's just a way for me and my friends to get together simulating stunts from movies, video games, and popular media in real life. And so I'm about to go meet up with my friends at a park to attempt some Watch Dogs 2 parkour. So, let's go. <laughs> All right, so I'm here with my friends, Keith and Maya, and we found this fun little park, which I also found something similar in the game where there's a fence and he's doing vaults and stuff, so seems like a good spot to do some basic vaults, you know, that they do from the game. And then as we move on, we'll start getting into some of the bigger tricks and stunts that they do in the game and see what we can do. Before we get started, where can people follow you? Uh, my Instagram is Keith.Freerun on Instagram. And then my YouTube is just Keith Weagle. I don't really post it really yeah, as much, right, but that's what my good. YouTube is. Sweet. Um, that's just about it. You can also find me on Instagram. It's Maya Does Flips, and that's M-A-Y-A-H. Perfect. A little different. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> okay, sweet. Let's get started. So the first move they do in this game is like a little cartwheel vault. His form is terrible. His knees are bent. But for now, we're just gonna mess around and try the cartwheel vault. So okay. you wanna give it a shot, Keith? All right. <laughs> okay. Let's see. This is higher. So our next stunt is going to be the Kong up front flip. We're going to do it on this little fence here. And uh, in this flip, he specifically runs out of it. So it's not just a stomp, he runs out of it, which makes it a bit trickier. Uh, we'll both give it a shot, but I think we'll have Keith try and be the one who does the matching on this shot. All right, bad spot to do it. <laughs> Dude, that was gnarly. <laughs> Are you okay? That didn't hurt at all. You guys, that, <laughs> that, was, like, that was a good save. He does do a dive roll, so you <laughs> did it right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, on playback, it seemed like you got your shins pretty good there. <laughs> yeah, I did. Got a little bit how did, of black. How did it feel? I feel pretty good. I got like a black. A little mark on my shin. It's like the size of a dime, yeah. but I'm pretty good. I think I could do it. Shin dive roll. New trick, guys. Yes. <laughs> All right, so next up, our character does the dive roll over a lot of obstacles. He actually likes the dive roll a lot whenever you're playing the game, and so I'm going to be doing the dive roll over the fence is pretty straightforward. The only weird part is the camera in the game gets kind of wonky. So just for fun, we're going to try and match that with the camera, get a wonky angle dive roll, and uh, yeah, give it a go. Yeah, yeah nailed it! it. <laughs> That was epic. Yeah. That was her first time doing that trick ever, outside. Ever, ever. <laughs> Alright, so the next move he does in the game is actually a fun one. One of my favorite things he does in the game is whenever he does a tic-tac off of a wall to get up another wall. Now, it's pretty rare that he actually does this. It kind of happens automated and you have to have the right setup for it, but when it does happen in the game, it's awesome. So here we found this really big wall next to a corner wall where hopefully we can recreate it. I think he actually does it on a lower wall in the game that I captured. But just for fun, we're going to go big and try and see if we can run up this wall with a Tic Tac. Oh yes, I'm trying off of that. We have a little friend. We found inspiration for jumping. 
You just gotta channel springy toes. Our inner frog. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Got him. Got him. Got him. Okay. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> we need you to be out of the way so we do not land on you and squish you. Okay. Gotta save the frog, and then we'll continue with the stuff. Up, we got some flips in the game he'll actually jump off ledges and do flips but you can't make him do flips that's what's weird about the game is it's all automated but when he does do the flips it's actually really cool so we got these ledges back here to try and match the flips he does a standing gainer and a diving front flip so we'll start off with the standing gainer off this little green box here this clip I have he actually jumps off the air I don't think I can pull that off because I mean I think it's impossible okay here we go for the air gainer Nope, doesn't work. So next up we have the diving front flip. He can do this front flip off giant ledges. But we're not going to go quite that high. We're going to go off this little roof here and attempt a diving front flip. <laughs> All right, time for some fence hopping. Over here, we got a fence, and in the game, he just does a little, a little pop-up, a little pop-over vault. And so, I think we're gonna have Keith do it here, do our little pop-up. Actually, you did one already. Just, just go ahead and do it. Let's show him what it looks like. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can probably do that at home, or you can at least learn how to do it. It's one of the safer stunts we've done today because you just. You know, practice climbing over a fence, but don't rip your shirt on the fence. That's happened to me multiple times, especially doing gate vaults, but yeah, just watch your clothes. <laughs> Alright, we got a picnic table to do a couple vaults. I'm going to do a dash X out, and Keith is going to do are kind of a uh, lazy dash. Yeah. So, here's what it looks like. Maya is gonna do our stride jump across these picnic tables. She's been filming most everything else that we've been doing, but here she's gonna do our match to the video games. It's so hot out here. I just... <laughs> no. Okay, next up we have, he does just this little Kong pop-up to Diving Kong, which is really cool in the game. I'm gonna do it on these picnic tables. It's a little sketchy on them right now because my hands are sweaty and slippery, so gotta hit it just right, but shouldn't be too bad. All right, so there you have it. Watchdog 2 parkour stunts in real life in my stunt simulator, simulating the stunts in real life. I wanted to thank Maya and Keith 
for helping me out on this video. <laughs> you guys killed it. You guys did some awesome tricks Thank and you. killed it Thank into you. filming, helping me with this. This is their first time helping me on a video like this, so they did awesome. Once again, check them out on Instagram. Follow them there and YouTube for awesome. Keith as well. But otherwise, be sure to subscribe for more of these stunt simulation videos that I'll have coming out. And thanks for watching. Hey.